Hey everybody, it's Inspired Jill Min, and today we're going to be working on Belle's casual dress from the Disney movie of Beauty and the Beast, thanks to the new Beauty and the Beast movie live action that came out. So, let's enjoy this tutorial and keep watching. So before we jump right into wearing the dress, you have to gather your materials to make it. The pattern pieces I used was made from original clothing and the accessories from Walmart, along with the fabric. So you're going to take your front center front piece, which is the side of your whichever side, and I'm going to put it on a fold of fabric so that I have the front of the dress done. So I'm just outlining it with my pen and then I will cut it out. You always want to leave a little bit more seam allowance than a half an inch if you're not too sure, like I did, and then trim it later. And that's exactly what I did to the center front and the center backs for the top of the dress. Now we're going to use the pattern piece for the bottom of the skirt, which is the circle skirt. I'm going to simply just put one piece on one half of the skirt and the other piece on the other half so that it's on the fold of the fabric. And once I cut this out, I'll have a complete circle of a circle skirt for the bottom of the dress for Belle. Now with this, I'm just going to clean up the sides and the front of the center front and back by adding a scoop formation. I'm just going to take some scissors and trim off the excess to make the scoop because I want it to look more like Belle's front of the dress, how she has a scoop around where the blue peasant dress is at. In order for me to do that, I put both the center front and the center back on top of each other so they both are equal on both front and back. To make the shirt, we're going to actually attach the sleeves. You're going to have four cutouts of the sleeves. So make sure you trace and then use your scissors to cut out each of the sleeves. Two for the left and two for the right arms. Once I have that, I'm going to attach my sleeves to my center front and my center backs. If you don't know what I mean, I will show you in the following video so it's more easier to visually understand. Once you have your center backs and center front sleeves and shirts together that are sewn, now you can start on the collarbone area and working on how to make that. What I basically did for this part was I took a rectangular white piece of fabric, pinned it down to the collarbone area, and then I added my slip and all the details after I pinned it to make it according to how Belle's dress needed to look like. When you're done pinning everything, then you can So this part of the tutorial is important. You have to make sure that you line up your back into with the zipper because if you don't, it's going to be misaligned and it's going to look really funny like this. And I show you this because I messed up and I wasn't paying attention. So when you do pay attention and you line it up correctly, it looks like this, which is very gorgeous. But once you have that, you can line up your center front and center back onto each other, good sides together and bad sides outward. You're gonna pin it down and then sew it. So you'll have the top part of the dress complete. Now, if you miss the size or if you're a little bit bigger, just add a little bit more a seam allowance. I added two inches more because my back is a little bit wider. But once you have that complete, I just getting ready to sew down my top and my bottom, which is the circle skirt together and to complete my dress getting ready to get pinned down make sure it's the right measurements for your waist because you want to emphasize it and make it look very beautiful like Belle and not really funny looking so once the sizing and the pieces are sewn together I'm just going to check on the outlook which is really just fixing the sleeves if you don't want it to have an elastic band you can ignore that fixing the waistband area to make it more fitted and even all the way around which is the front and the back but after that, you're just going to fix also the collar area of where the neck is. You want to make sure that's sewn down so it looks very clean cut. 
Now, this is how your dress should look like. It's clean cut, everything is done. The only last thing to do, if you really want to, is hem the edges of your sleeves and the bottom of the dress. But if you wanna keep it long, you don't have to look at the next step, but that's just optional. So for the sleeves, I cut off a bit and then I actually added a two inch seam allowance where I'm gonna attach the elastic band. All I did is I measured it around my wrist to see how tight I wanted it to be. Sew it down a little bit and I'm gonna insert it inside of the little slit I showed you. Once I inserted it, I pinned it down so that it could be sewed down and be turned inside out and be an actual stretchy bit of my arm. But I will show you exactly how I did it here. Now that both sides are done, you can sew it down and turn in the dress inside out and you have a complete dress. Ta-da! Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button with the bell notification for more videos to be watching. And I'll see you ladies and gents later. Don't forget to spread peace, love, and happiness and it's only up to you to make everyday beautiful. Alright, bye! <laughs> Blah, 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 bl